Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today we're going to be shooting 18th century style paper cartridges. Uh, these would have been used by the military so they could fire a lot faster and they really do work. Now, I've got to admit, I am not a military reenactor and I'm not experienced with military paper cartridges and um, I really wouldn't be doing this except I've had several requests from subscribers to show them something with paper cartridges and I've, I've resisted but uh, right now I've got this beautiful 1766 Charleville replica in-house uh, it's made by Pedasoli and it's imported by Taylors and Company in Winchester, Virginia I'm doing an article on it for American Frontiersman and it seems like the perfect tool to demonstrate paper cartridges so that's what we're going to do now this uh, this has had a real learning curve for me and I'm not going to be shy about showing that to you so let's get right down to the process of making them and then we'll do some shooting well paper cartridges are not very difficult to make and you only need to have a few things first of all of course your paper a dowel that is uh, about the diameter of a ball and it's handy if you indent the end of it to accept the ball but you really don't have to <clears throat> 2FG black powder in this case I'm going to use a hundred grain measure a little bit of glue and some string and that's it and then of course your musket balls and in this case these are 60, uh, 68 caliber balls and it's really not too hard I made a template for the paper out of uh, a manila file folder so just something that will stand up that I could use to trace onto each sheet of paper I was going to use to roll the ball and these are the dimensions of it it's, uh, it's shaped kind of like an odd trapezoid with a short two inch leg, a long six inch base, and a five and a half inch leg. And then you just draw a diagonal uh, that connects those. And you can see I've, I've labeled where you'd place the ball with of course the dowel right behind it going down the long end. And you can see from the arrow what the direction of roll is for the cartridge. So all you need to do is cut your paper to this size and roll it up. And you can use most any kind of paper. I've I've used target paper uh, and I've used newspaper and that's what you're going to see in the second portion of this. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end of the paper here and it doesn't take too much. Then I'm going to take the ball and the dowel and I'm just going to place them down on the paper and I want to leave enough room above it to be able to twist the paper. I'm going to twist it closed. And after that, we just wrap them up. And let it glue tight. All right, so then, the very end of the paper, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to kind of crimp it a bit in my fingers. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. Right. And then to hold that in, and not every, uh, not every army tied them, but the Americans did and the French did usually, so... I'm just going to take a bit of string and I'm going to tie a square knot right around the top here. Just cut off another piece of string. Alright, so you find kind of a gap between the ball and the string, the ball and the, uh, and the stick I mean. And we'll take another piece of string and we're just going to tie this off and all we want to do really is kind of put a little bit of a waist in it all right, so we'll get and there we go so you can see 
I'm getting some definition on the bullet here, right? And that's that's all I really need. And after that, it's the same procedure. We'll just fill up a measure. Dump it in. Flatten that out. Fold it over. And we're pretty much good. Now I'm going to trim those little strings off of it and we're all set. Then you took that whole cartridge and you just pushed it down the barrel. Except it wouldn't go down the barrel. That 68 caliber ball when wrapped with the paper just too big which in hindsight I should have checked that before I got to the range so shame on me but uh, that sent me back to the drawing board well my first attempt at making paper cartridges was a bust uh, as you recall they look like this and they're made with a 68 caliber ball and we're loading a 69 caliber uh, barrel but as you saw I just could not get the ball seated uh, in the bore it's, it's too large a diameter with this paper wrapped around it so I had to retool and I'm making a couple of changes the most important of which is I'm going to a 60 caliber ball so I'm going to be using a, a 0 .60 diameter ball I also changed my paper to, uh, to newsprint which was common during the day I had to skinny my rod up a bit uh, to work with a smaller ball so I'm just going to show you the technique is exactly the same Well, Paper Pete has gone Tory on us and joined the Redcoats. He's formed up 40 yards downrange. We've got the uh, 1866 Charleville musket, paper cartridges, and now we're going to do something that a real 18th century soldier would never even have thought of, which is aim at a specific target. But uh, we're going to load with these paper cartridges and see if we can hit Paper Pete. Well, the loading process is fairly simple. Take a paper cartridge, bite the end of it off, put the musket on half cock, prime the pan. After closing the frizzin, you take the balance of the powder charge and pour it right into the barrel. Then you take the empty paper cartridge with the ball included push it right in the muzzle, ram it home, and now we are ready to take down Paper Pete.
You can see as the bore fouls up, this gets harder and harder to load. Now, actual trained 18th century infantrymen could load and fire their muskets a lot faster than I can. Uh, generally, three to four rounds per minute, but the best of them could shoot four to five rounds per minute. Of course, they weren't aiming at Paper Pete the way I am. Well, out of five shots, we put three of them in the kill zone for sure. Uh, there's one just below the kill zone in Paper Pete's hip, and another one below the level of the paper that probably would have taken them out just above the kneecaps. So, not too bad for a way undersized ball. Now, from what I'm told by experienced paper cartridge shooters, uh, about a 65 caliber ball is ideal instead of the 60 caliber that I used. But even with the 60 caliber, as you can see, at 50 yards, we were putting them on them.